Bam. G'day guys, how are you going? Today is very exciting for me. Not really for you, but for me, because I've got a new 144 hertz monitor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so guys, this is so fucking cool. I don't even know if I can. I don't even know what you can say to be honest. But it's a 24-inch LED, 144 hertz or frames, FreeSync gaming monitor. Now, what does FreeSync mean? I don't really know. So I'm uh, I'm gonna look that up. I should do that. I should have done that before the video. It's fucking. Uh, what? Does free sync mean? AMD FreeSync is the brand name for an adaptive synchronization technology for LCD displays, and I'm now presuming that's also for LED displays, that support a dynamic refresh rate aimed at re reducing screen tearing. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not that amazing with technology, even though I am of a younger generation, so I'm just gonna say that this is a pretty damn good monitor for its price anyway. And I paid 300 Australian dollars from this from a website called Kogan.com. Fun fact, the guy who owns Kogan, Ruslan Kogan, was at my school a few years ahead of me. So well done to you, Ruslan. I appreciate you. Now comes the fun part, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say 99% males, 1% females, because I'm about to fucking open this bitch up. I don't know how best to do it, to be honest. Let's fucking, let's, let's have a gander. Ooh, I like this. I think that that's pretty special. Um, so a bit of a uh, safety etiquette here. You should always do it away from yourself, but I'm really shit. So don't do what I do. You know, as, uh, as some say, do as I tell you but not as I do. Uh, boy. Fuck's sake. Come on. Too excited. So it's a pretty uh, pretty standard unboxing experience. I'm not gonna say it's anything special because it really isn't. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna put the camera down. Swish, swish, bish. I don't know what the fuck you guys can see. <laughs> All right, so. Careful, careful with knives. Don't, don't be a fucking idiot like me. <sighs> Fuck sake. The packet type. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, I got it out. So let's have a look. Taking all this packaging off. Uh, just quick warning as well, apparently plastic bags can be dangerous if you didn't know, so don't put it over your head. So let's have a look at what we've got. Let's fucking throw all this bullshit aside. Alright guys, let's have a look at exactly what we've got. So, pardon the, uh, pardon my, uh, pretty, uh, disabled opening of this box, but it is pretty stock standard, guys. Now remember, this was a $300 Australian dollar monitor. That is really cheap for a brand new 144 hertz monitor. And what you get is um, pretty standard, pretty stock standard. So we get HDMI cables here, or maybe they're... So, so with 144 hertz monitors, you can't just use standard HDMI ports. And these aren't standard HDMI ports. You can tell here by the cable. I forget the exact name of these ones. I'm pretty sure they're called like... Okay, what's in the box? A DP cable. I forgot the name of them, but you need special cables to be able to run a computer at 100, or monitor, I should say, at 144 hertz, which is, of course, what this is. So, if you guys don't know, what 144 hertz is, is the refresh rate of the screen. So, my computer here, this is my setup. I'll turn it on so you guys can see. It's quite flashy. I've got a... Um, GTX 1060 in my computer because I did have an AMD 7970 this bad boy here except it did die so that was a bit depressing but I had it for like five years and the great thing about desktop computers is of course their module so I was able to just rip out that old GPU and put in a new GPU um, and this is my current setup here um, except for the uh, except for the knife so I've got a pretty stock standard setup um, with just a standard 24 inch monitor but now with this new um, GPU in my computer, it's double the power of my old GPU because technology is just insane in its in its processing power. So I'm able to get 120 frames per second easily on Ultra Graphics with World of Tanks and other games, etc. So I wanted to, to you know really capitalize on that because right now my monitor here is only 60 um, hertz or only 60 frames per second, whereas I can view it 
double the speed. So wouldn't that be awesome? So before the uh, Australian government thankfully introduced the uh, the, uh, the taxation on GST on all online goods, I thought, well, I better get this online. Yeah, for only 300 Australian dollars, you get a 144 hertz monitor. Now, in reading the reviews online, there aren't really many of them, hence I'm making this video because I know it's not what you guys usually watch, right? But it's actually a pretty good monitor. Although it's so cheap, it uses the technology from other major companies. For example, I'm not sure where this one actually takes it from, but I think it could be something like AOC or some other um, pretty major branded company like that. And they effectively just rebrand it and uh, but use the exact same technology in it. So the one complaint I have heard is that the case around the monitor is a little bit flimsy. Um, the connection, the way it, it fits up from the actual monitor itself to the uh, to the plastic edges um, isn't the best finish. But I'm not. I don't really care about that. I, I mainly just care about the technology inside of it itself, which is pretty much as good as anything you'll see. Now, the one big issue with this compared to other major um, monitors is that it has a five millisecond delay. So um, most gaming monitors will be about a one millisecond delay, but this one here is a five millisecond delay. And I'm really sorry that it keeps coming out of focus as well, guys. I understand that might be a bit annoying. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna read out the uh, main specs of this um, so you guys can know exactly what you're buying because again, I'm pretty shitty with technology. So guys, for all of you that are interested, and I'm sorry if this is blurry, guys, I actually don't have a screen, so I can't see myself right now, but for all of you that are interested, here are some quick facts that you might enjoy. So its brightness is 300 CD per meter squared, I think. Its colors are 16.7 million. It's got a 60 hertz um, refresh rate at anything below 1920 by 1080. You can run it at 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz, but if you use a uh, DVI, an HDMI, or a DP cable, you can run it at 144 hertz, and its maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080p. Its dynamic contrast weight ratio is 1000 to 1. Of course, it is full HD because it is a 1080p monitor. It's an LED monitor. It has a 5 millisecond response time. It's a 24-inch monitor. Um, also, its viewing angle is 170 degrees by 160 degrees. It has an audio port, a uh, input, a display port input, a DVI input, an HDMI input, and a VGA input as well. I think I'll be using a DVI or a display port. In fact, it comes with a display port, right? So I might use a display port or DVI and hook up my existing monitor, which is this one right here. I might hook that one up to um, my computer so I can run a dual monitor which will be really great for streaming productivity as well so I'm pretty excited about that but anyway guys I'm going to give you a quick tour of the monitor itself I'll build it up really quickly it won't take very long at all because it's just two pieces um, and I'll be able to show you around it so it does look incredibly easy guys I think it's just literally as simple as pushing it down and just slots in and there it is that's it it's literally that easy so um, I'm pretty happy with that now I don't think it does have much maneuverability but let's have a look around the back shall we um, it just feels a bit stiff at the moment so um, the ports here you can see we have an audio in and also the power in um, it is pretty standard guys I don't think I'll be using any uh, audio in that's for sure because I don't need any speakers I don't even know if this comes with speakers to be honest but um, oh actually sorry I take that back I would plug in my speaker system to that but I'm not going to I'll leave it in my computer because I've got a really good sound sound chip in my computer and heading over to this side we can see we have a DVI slot here we have an HDMI slot and we have the display port spot as well as the VGA now VGA is of course the older system so there'd be no point in using that we're going to be mainly focusing on the DVI the HDMI and DP in fact I think I'll only be focusing on the DVI and the DP um, and apart from that, guys, it is it is a very simple monitor. Of course, in the box as well, we did get this uh, this box here. We can see it was made by Channel Well Technology. This is probably who Kogan outsourced to build it. Um, we've got just a very standard kind of power cable there. Of course, it is in the Australian format as an Australian, and we have warranty information and of course the cable itself so we don't really have to do anything straight out of the box we've got everything and again for three hundred dollars i think this is a real bargain i don't really mind that it's a you know probably a pretty flimsy kind of case i don't really care as long as the technology stacks up so i'm going to set it up now so i'm get a, a dual uh display going and we'll see exactly how it works exactly how it runs world of tanks i'm pretty excited guys as you can tell 
Um, again, pretty cheap for what it is, so I'll see you soon. Oh, fuck my life. I think that's it. I think I've done it. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking set it up. So this is, uh, this is how it should hopefully look. I'm gonna sit in front of this one and use this one here as more of a, uh, more of a streaming kind of computer, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that look. You know, it's pretty, pretty clean. Nothing special. I mean, this is still a, uh, that's, that's a 60 hertz monitor and that's a 120 hertz monitor, but they're pretty much the same size. That worked out really well. Definitely not planned, but whatever guys, let's, uh, let's turn it on. I don't know if it's going to automatically detect that there's two screens now. I don't know. I'll get back to you guys. Let's fucking, I'll put it, put, set it up and hopefully it'll work. Great, great success guys. So it seems to be working pretty much perfectly. Um, I'm pretty happy. This is actually me when I was a few years younger. Uh, I think I was about 12, 19 now, and this is how I look now. So not much has changed. So I'm going to do a live reaction here on, uh, on exactly how it looks because of course guys I can't show you how 120 frames per second look. Alright guys so the reason that I haven't started playing on this yet is because uh, something a bit odd just happened. Something that I didn't realize is that this uh, L LED display actually comes or the monitor comes with a um, come, sorry comes with speakers. I I'm, I'm pretty honest, uh, honest, honest to God guys this is pretty cool being able to see this. I'm gonna go over here even though it's probably not the best idea. Um, but yeah, so so far, it's a pretty awesome display, guys. I don't know, like, you can't see it, so I'm not going to expect you guys to be like, what looks better, because you're not going to be able to see, but for now, it's still, uh, it's still pretty cool. They killed yeah, look. Anyway, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the video here before I just get completely destroyed. Um, to recap, it's a pretty good monitor for the price. I'm not being sponsored to say this. I, I would definitely get it again. I don't want to spend, you know, 500, 600 plus dollars on a monitor that, you know, it, it's just not worth it for me. And I know for a lot of you guys as well who are, oh shit, who are pretty uh, conscious about, you know, uh, how much they're spending. You know, this is a pretty good budget monitor if you want something that's, that's still very decent for its price. But anyway, guys, thank you so very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.